We welcome you back here in the postgame. Jeff Blanklin joined right now by two of the Kemper Knights as they win 5-3 to three tonight uh, over the uh, Carroll Tigers. we got Chloe Venteiger to my left and Isabel Schwabe to my right. So that would be to your right and your left. So uh, a little different on the video that we're uh, shooting here real quick. Let's talk with Chloe, who's on my left. Got the big strikeout to end the game. You pitched really well tonight. What did you feel like was working for you? Um, just my follow-through, my release. Okay. Well, did any specific pitches, any areas of the plate you were trying to work yeah, against Carroll tonight? My outside. The outside part. Where it, 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 good conversation with, with Jordan throughout the game about yeah. what was working for him? Yep, she was calling him really good. So. Okay. They threatened you. They had 10 runners on that didn't score tonight coming into that seventh inning, so they end up with 11 runners stranded tonight. What did you do when you had those runners on? How did you keep yourself calm and come up with the plays when you needed them to? I just knew we all wanted to win really bad, so I tried my hardest to fight through it. Okay. Did you feel some pressure in that seventh inning when they got that lead runner on? Yeah, just a little. Okay. Did you change up anything you were doing or just keep with what had been working for you all night? No, but I just kept doing it. Okay. So uh, let's talk about how the defense played for you tonight. How did you feel like the defense played in behind you? Yeah, they were helping me out really good. Um, I guess if we didn't have them, it would have been a really good game. So. So you Thanks said you said you wanted to win this one bad. How big how big is this win for this team? You guys moved to two and zero, but you get the win against a, I think a really good Carroll team here. Uh, you know, and and the city rivalry, of course, probably plays a little bit into that. Yeah, they're really good. Um, last year, I don't think we did really good. So. This year was really good for us. Did that stick with you a little bit last year? Yeah. Uh, and then that kind of, did you girls talk about that coming into tonight, or is that just something in the back of your mind? They didn't really talk about it. We just thought about it. Well, I tell you what, Chloe, great job out here tonight. Yeah. Congratulations on the win. Let's switch over now to Isabel Schwabe. And Isabel, big home run tonight, a grand slam home <laughs> run. You struck out your first time up. You come out the next time. Bases are loaded, uh, and you crunch one. Uh, take us through that at bat. Oh man, <laughs> I was a little bit mad that I struck out because Julia threw two really, well, I mean three really good inside pitches and I'm like, oh man. And so <laughs> the next one, I just really wanted to get a hold of that one. And so the first strike that came through, I'm like, let's go. Boom. <laughs> It just went over. <laughs> what, was it a fastball? What were you looking for? Did you get what you were looking for in that at bat and on yeah. that home run? That one, I feel like, was maybe a little bit more to the outside, and I like those pitches. So that one, I just knew it was going to be a good one, and I couldn't miss it. So I just saw him. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Did you know it was gone right away? Uh, I had an idea, but you got to run it out like it's going to be caught anyway, or they're going to drop it. So. It felt good. I, mean. yeah. I was going to say, you almost caught. I think it was uh, Allie over at first base, yeah. and you almost passed her there as yeah. you were rounding the bags, didn't you? Yeah. Did you say something to her about, hey, speed up here or what? No, I can hear her yelling. Though. She's like, yeah. like, yeah. We just kind of celebrated a little bit. But. Absolutely. So you're able to hold on. Uh, you guys got up 4-1 to one at that point. They kept kind of cutting into that lead a little bit as the game goes on. What did you think was the difference for you girls tonight? I think it was really just our defense. I think they had a very good offense and they were hitting a lot of balls. So to be able to slow down their offense was probably the big key. We knew that our bats would come in later as we get used to the pitcher and her pitches, but it was our defense I think that really won the game for us. Talk about that early when you had a ball that was almost out to the fence that you had to make the catch on. I, I'm assuming that Kendall probably was hollering at you, letting you know you had a little bit of room. Yeah. Because I didn't see you checking for the fence, but you were, looked like you were pretty close. No, I knew that one was high and that one was deep, and I was just going back there, and Kendall's like, you got room, you got room. And so I just <laughs> I just kind of went back there, and I trusted her, and I, I made the catch. So. How much did you help her on that big catch there in the sixth inning uh, that she made out there to end that inning? Yeah. I, well, she knew she was going in the right direction, and we were far enough away from the fence that I wasn't worried about that. I was like, Kendall, you got it, you got it. And I just got below that just in case she were to happen to bobble it or something like that. But, no, she made a clean catch, so, so that was exciting. What's this win mean for you, senior year? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the big rivalry. Oh, the, it just completes it. I mean, <laughs> it just it feels so good. I think last year, well, I know last year Carol won, so to come back and – you know, dominate and finally get this one on senior year especially. It just means a lot. So. Well, I tell you what, great job here tonight. Appreciate you joining okay. us, and congrats on the win, girls. Thank you. Thank you. you bet. We do have, I think, uh, we've got some Carroll Tigers waiting to come in here, and we'll get them slid in here. We've got the Julia LaRue and Olivia Aishida coming in. We'll start off with Julie over here to my right as she's got the headphones on. Pitched well tonight. Uh, just had kind of that one inning. Uh, what did you feel like was working for you tonight? Um, we mainly squeezed them inside mm -hmm. um, so that they couldn't get around on the ball and then we went 
outsized drops once they backed off the plate. Do you feel like you had pretty good control tonight? Yeah, we were hitting all of our spots really well. There were a couple um, that we honed, but they weren't really the big hits. So I think overall we pitched good. Now, take us through that inning where you struggled a little bit, where they got the lead with that home run. What were you trying to do with Isabel on that one? Because you had struck her out the first time on a couple of nice inside pitches. Yeah, before that we had been going inside every pitch and had been working really well, but then that time we went outside and she just got around on it. Still early in the game, though, you girls had to have a lot of confidence that you could come back. You, you shut them down really the rest of the game. Did you switch anything up as the game goes on, or would you just kind of stay with what the, the early game plan was? No, I think we stayed the whole time. We knew that we just had to score runs and that our defense would be there. And that, I mean, we let one inning determine the whole game, but we played solid defense the rest of the time. You like the way the defense is playing behind you here early in the season, two games in? Yeah, we're doing amazing. I don't think we had any years tonight, and yeah, we're playing great. Let's talk about the, at the plate tonight. A couple of hits for you again. You girls kept putting put and pressure at pressure on Kemper. Just couldn't get those big hits, it seemed like, when you needed them to tonight. But how did you feel like you hitting the team hit? Um, I think we did. We got the hits. We just couldn't string them together when we needed to. Um, personally, we've had a couple of rainy weeks. So we've been at Adams and hit in cages, and that's really helped me, um, especially from Monday night. Woodward Granger didn't hit well. And I feel like tonight finally came on strong. What are you going to take away from tonight's game to move forward? You guys are right back in action tomorrow at the Ogden Tournament. Yeah, I think we just need to shake it off and know that we need to play our game to get the wins tomorrow. How's that arm feeling right now? Pretty good? Yeah, good to go for tomorrow. <laughs> That's what I figured. I tell you what, Julia, appreciate you joining us. Good job out here tonight. Let's move over now to Olivia A. Scheid. And Olivia, good game here tonight. I know you guys fall on, on the wrong side for the Tigers, but uh, what did you think about the overall effort here tonight as your team? I think we played really good, especially for our Tuesday game. Monday. Yeah, well, then our Tuesday game got yep. canceled, so then it kind of, I think we did good, but like Julia said, I mean, kind of the in indoor practices kind of pushed us out a little bit. I think we could have been better if we had outdoor practices this week. What did you see tonight out there in left field uh, when they were coming to the plate? What were you looking for? What were you anticipating their hitters trying to do, especially with what Julia was trying to pitch tonight? Yeah, well... We all know that they're good hitters, and that's okay. But I was definitely in left with Riley. We kind of were talking to each other, seeing Riley could see better from her angle. But we stayed deep. Um, they still got over our head a couple times, but. <laughs> Let's talk about the plate for you tonight. Uh, had you going uh, one for three tonight, you also walked and drove in a run. How do you feel like you're swinging the bat right now? I think better. Last year, I kind of struggled because I'd been off a couple years. Mm -hmm. But this year, I definitely think that I'm better prepared, and I think that this season will be better. Let's talk about that. It's great to see you back out there yeah. and stuff. You had missed a couple of years with yep. injuries. How good does it feel to be maybe as close to 100% as you're going to be? Yeah, it feels good. I actually wasn't going to go out this year, and then the team kind of convinced me, and I love it, and I want to change it. Absolutely. Well, I'm glad you're back out yeah. here. Appreciate you joining us, <laughs> yes. and good to see you here tonight. Yes, thank you. You've had Olivia Ashide and Julia LaRue with the Carroll Tigers joining us. I think we do have Coach Gallego standing here, and we'll see if we can't get Ryan to, to come in. Uh, we'll get Coach on the headphones with us here, and then I think, I think Coach Bowman around somewhere. But right now we'll talk with uh, Coach Gallego's. Coach, uh, tough loss here tonight. You guys fall to one and one on the season. I thought you played good. I thought this was a battle of two good teams. I thought you guys played well here tonight. Maybe a, a play here or there could have changed it. If Ankin gets that home run, so that thing being a little bit foul, this this game could be completely different. Yeah, just not well enough. You know, I, I don't know that play with Ashley. Did that thing hit her in the knee? Did I thought it from my angle. I thought it, it hit her, like so I was surprised so, that they left a run, but they didn't call it right away, so yeah, it made it kind of a different play. It seemed to be like they both called it and, and they left it, so I don't know. I mean, okay. we have 14 girls on base. We just can't do that. And you, you can play good defense, You can, but, man, if we just can't can't string those hits together when we need to. They Kemper made incredible incredible plays tonight in the outfield. I mean, they, they made some, some killer catches, so... And Chloe, Chloe Ventiger pitched a great game. I mean, that, that girl just stuck at it, and, and she didn't change anything. She just kept going. So um, we just couldn't catch up. We just couldn't catch up to that pitch. And it just it just hurt us. I was going to say, she only had four strikeouts tonight, but all four of them seemed to come when she needed to get a strikeout. Yeah. Uh, the, you know, the pitch, like I said, she pitched, she pitched great. So I don't want to take anything away from her, but 
they just came in so so fat and we were just ahead of everything all night long so um, we just couldn't make the adjustments where we needed to do you feel like your team's hitting it well tonight and you talked about not stringing those hits together when you leave you know 14 girls on base I feel like they're getting them where they need to be but they're just not you know the, the power's not there their patience not there you know we're playing playing the rivalry game where we're super excited we want to kill the ball we want to hit home runs we want to we're, we're not we're not playing disciplined softball this is the second game of the year yep. but we're not we're just not disciplined in, in what we need to do how do you get that here early in the year that's probably the hardest job a coach maybe has early in the it's season terrible. right it's terrible it's so hard here with you know what we've got going on and we, we've had three practices with everybody too. same same problem every year same right problem Kemper has um, you know, golf and tennis and soccer and track and everything and trying to get everyone together and then just just getting that. So it's just it's just early. So hopefully we'll we'll get better. What do you guys take away from this game that you try to use tomorrow? You, you got a weekend tournament over at Ogden coming up tomorrow. Going to be back at it bright and early tomorrow morning. Uh, we just got to get better. We just we just have to be patient. We just we have to. We tell the girls all the time, no pinatas. They, they got to stop swinging that ball off. They, they got to wait for it to get in there and, and drive it. So. Julia tonight, nine strikeouts tonight, had 10 the other night against Woodward Green. Yeah, that's How do like you feel like she's throwing? Two games. I, yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> How do you so, feel like she's throwing here early? You know, she's throwing well. It's just, uh, you know, her, her and Chloe, got to they got to trust us sometimes, too. We trust them to call pitches and make some changes, but sometimes they got to trust us. You know, bases loaded and them changing that, that pitch and, Bringing that thing outside middle was was, yeah, it was an early in the season mistake. Absolutely. Well, Coach, I tell you what, I know you guys will get things rolling. You got a good Thanks. ball club here. Appreciate you coming up tonight. Thanks, Jeff. You bet, Ryan Gallagos again, the head coach uh, for the Carroll Tigers. We'll see if we can get Coach Bowman to slide her way in here real quick. As she's working her way into the press box, and we'll get her to throw on a pair of headphones here and. Coach, thanks for joining us here. Congratulations on the win tonight. This one's got to feel pretty good. It does, and I know people can't see because we're on the radio, but you should turn around, Jeff, because there's some nice bonding going on between yeah. the Knights and the Tigers, which is what this night is all about. I I love playing them. I know it's called like the cross town rivalry, right. but for me, it's always teammates playing against former teammates. Yep. And they're such good friends. Or I, I mean, I don't know how good of friends they are, but look at them. They're smiling. And yep. And uh, they have a good relationship. That's pretty fun. Well, I was going to say, I saw Julia LaRue and Allie merch together all the time when they were younger. Yeah. I had to laugh tonight a little bit when Julia hit Allie early in the game because it almost looked like they kind of looked at each other and smiled. Uh, it wasn't like she hit her on purpose, but there was there was a there friendly was little smile there. Some kind of statistic, which I did not retain, but the last eight at-bats that Allie has for the last eight games that they've played against each other. She's gotten hit once every time or some, <laughs> something like that. So there's kind of an inside joke there. <laughs> <laughs> How did you feel like your team played here tonight? Oh, I think that we played well. You know, this is only our second game of the season. Yep. Um, I've watched them all winter with my pitching. I've been there every day for the, every time they've been working on pitching. And then we've had a lot of parents that have been in the field house hitting balls at girls and feeding the machine. So I've seen that we have raised the bar since last year, but I still, you know, have been unsure how would that translates to game situations. How would mental composure be? We have a very young pitching staff and catching, um, you know, inexperienced freshmen. But tonight, I turned to Coach B, my sister, and I said, you know, I kind of thought we'd look like freshmen pitchers and catchers, but I don't think I would know if I didn't know. I thought they that they've been doing a good job of just yep. looking confident. You know, they put in the time, so yeah. they they're feeling confident in the efforts they've made in the off season. And Chloe seemed to come up with a pitch every time she needed one. Every yeah. time the Tigers threatened, Coach said they left 14 on base tonight. A lot of that time it was on second and third, and, yeah. and she just either the defense made a play or she mm -hmm. made a pitch to get you guys out of trouble. Oh, I've I've felt really good about the defense. You know, we have a stellar defense. And that's why I just tell the pitchers to just throw strikes. We don't have yep. drunk pitches. We just are throwing fastballs and trying to spot corners, you know, occasional change up. And, uh, but the defense is going to come up with outstanding plays. And sometimes on a base hit, we'll come up with a secondary out, you know, the unconventional yep. out because we've worked really hard on it. And since the seniors were eighth graders, we've worked on that. And it's, you know, it, 
it shows what hard work will do and, and a lot of parents support because they've they've worked a lot with parents too on the side. You got the big home run from Isabel there uh, yes. in that uh, third inning. Uh, did you feel like that was going to be enough at the time or did you feel like you'd need some more runs? Oh, it's never enough. <laughs> <laughs> it, it took off. Yeah. I, I didn't realize how tense I was until after that and then I felt myself relax and I thought, oh man, if I was feeling that way, I wonder how the girls, they yeah. must have been tense too. So I, uh, I think that that really helped the confidence. I'm sure it helped Chloe on the mound to have a little padding there. Right. But yeah, it never felt like enough. It just, <laughs> it felt like we could play more relaxed. Did you feel like the offense did what you needed them to do? I know she guys yeah. tried to bunt quite a bit yeah. tonight, didn't always get those down. Yeah, big thing this, uh, the couple weeks of practice we've had is I've been preaching the bunts and how that needs to be, you need to be able to do that in your sleep. And so every day we've had a 10 minute bunting station and no, I'm not satisfied. We were keeping track of how many missed attempts. Um, we talked about it again. They know that that's my big thing I'm being a stickler about this year. That's why I called it so much right. because this was a non-conference game. And to be honest, the outcome didn't matter as much as we need to work on things that will help us in conference games. Um, so I tried to get it in as much as we could and it's still an area we need to improve. Um, but yeah, offense, I'm always uh, harder to please. I, yep. I have high expectations. But there were some definite shining moments, and the moments that weren't so good, we know what we need to work on, and we know drills to do that. So it's just, you know, moving on up after this. Coach, you guys get a little time off. You got the weekend with the holiday, and then you're not back in action until yeah. uh, Thursday night. You get to Glenwood here for a varsity doubleheader. What do you work on to get ready for them? Oh, I believe we have Lewis Central. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that. yeah. yeah. Uh, I think um, <laughs> bunting, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then just... Uh, getting rid of the loopy doopy swings. A lot of the girls are very powerful hitters. Right. So then they are trying to swing for the fence. So I just reminding them, like Cassidy's home run last, last right. night, uh, we said perfect illustration of she had two strikes. She was just trying to make contact. She was not swinging for the fence. But when you have the proper swing on the proper pitch with the proper point of contact, right. long balls take care of themselves. So that's the thing right now I'm working with the batters on is just swing correctly. Nice and smooth, long balls take care of themselves. Well, I tell you what, Coach, congratulations on the win tonight. Oh, Appreciate you, you joining Jeff. us here tonight. Appreciate having you. You bet. Aaron Bowman again, the head coach for the Kemper Knights. They win 5-3 to three tonight over the Carroll Tigers.